Hi guys, welcome back to another thrift video. I just finished like finals. I have one more day of finals and I just thought like why not treat myself and spend more money because we need some retail therapy. So I'm at a new thrift store. I have never gone here before, but I was driving with my mom and I saw it and I was like, I need to go there. So the reviews are good. So I hope that we find some good stuff there. Don't know how comfortable I'm going to be vlogging in there. I hope there's not like a lot of people. It's like 1.26 in the afternoon, so everybody should be at work. This is just me assuming. When I thrift, I either like listening to music or listening to a book. I'm currently listening to an audiobook called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and I have been wanting to read this for such a long time and so I finally got it. I have like an hour and a half left of it so I'm probably going to knock that down. I am trying to find like winter pieces because the trip that I'm leaving for on Thursday entails like cold weather and I really don't have like that many cute winter clothes so I'm tr going to try to find that but I'm mostly going to still try to find like summer pieces because I live in Florida and it's always like like hot and semi cold so i hope we find some good stuff let's go i long for that feeling what did it have to go away inside i don't know why every thrift store i go to is like so warm inside and it's icky and gross and that's the only thing i hate about going to thrift stores but other than that i would say it's a very successful first trip to this thrift store i got two bags and they're pretty full i spent like 50 something dollars but i'm gonna wash all of these clothes and then do a little try on haul for you guys later a lot of weeks have passed and I'm finally going to be doing a haul. I have all of these clothes that I have found at either like antique stores, vintage stores, or Goodwill. Most of these clothes are the ones that I found at the store that we went to. I think it's just called the thrift store in my hometown, but let's get started. I have a lot of winter pieces, and by winter, I mean like Florida winter where it's like sometimes hot and then sometimes cold. Also, if you're new here, the background is new because I'm visiting my grandma in Mexico. Anyways, let's start off with sweaters. I absolutely adore sweaters. I am a big sweater girl. So I found this beautiful blue shimmery color and it's so pretty, even in the sun. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. And the funny thing is, is that the company name is called Jenny and my name is Jenny or Jennifer. I go by lots of nicknames, but I was just like, this is such a pretty blue color and it also has my name. Like, I, I just have to get it. I've always seen this type of brand in Goodwill whenever I go, but I just never like the clothing enough where I actually buy it. But this, mm, chef's kiss, so pretty. Next sweater I got is this super comfy pink sweater. It's a little bit bigger than what I would like. What I've been doing is like pulling it off the shoulder and I've been really liking that look. I either put like a cute spaghetti strap where you can like see it or I just do like bare shoulder, but it's super comfortable and it's so soft, which is a must in a sweater because I hate itchy sweaters. Speaking about itchy sweaters, this is such an itchy sweater when you put it on for like an hour, but then after that, I don't know if like my skin just gets used to it and I'm not 
itchy anymore but the color just drew me to it and i also love turtlenecks when i tried it on at the thrift store i was like i really want to crop it but since i'm currently on vacation i don't have like all the tools that i have at home so i'm really like contemplating it if not i'm going to give it to a friend or possibly my grandma because she absolutely adored the sweater and i don't want to ruin it you know the next thing that i absolutely have been loving is this pink shirt it's actually ralph lauren and i didn't even notice it until like i actually picked it up and looked at the tag but i just love the color so much and it's just so comfortable this is a spaghetti strap that i've been putting under this pink sweater and i just like the light pink with the very fluorescent pink and i just think it's a really pretty combination i wasn't really into camis until the end of 2022 and i really like how it's long and not short because sometimes i like long camis and sometimes i just want like a short cami so i can just like tuck it in and crop it myself so it's quite versatile and i just love the detailing on the cami it's just so unique and i just haven't seen this type of texture on any shirt next is this really pretty blouse i was really questioning on like putting it in my cart because i'm just always so scared of looking like businessy and that's not the type of vibe that i'm going for but when i tried it on i just absolutely fell in love with it and you can style it in so many different ways you can do business casual or you can do like a night out or just like casual and i just love the detailing on the blouse i've been really into textures lately and have been avoiding like plain shirts because for me they're just boring but sometimes you know you do need a good plain shirt but i don't know i just think it adds personality to the outfit so moving on to pants i was on the lookout for some comfy pants to wear at the airport because i just don't have joggers because i don't really wear them and i just don't like how they look on me but when I found these, they're just super flowy and they're like a boot cut leg. There's just so many options at that thrift store that I had three pairs in my cart. I just picked up this one and I'm so happy that I did because this is going to be my go-to airport pants or just even like loungewear pants because I hate tight pants and this is the opposite. Moving on to skirts, I have been loving long skirts. I just don't know why. I don't know if it's because of like Pinterest and TikTok influencing my like taste buds, but I currently have three knee high kind of length and I have this jean one. I absolutely love the pocketing details. Unfortunately, it does not have any pockets in the back. I have been wearing this nonstop and I've been pairing it with so many types of t-shirts and shoes and actually this was my first ever long skirt and it made me want to purchase more so my next skirt that i found is this one look how gorgeous it is like just look at the stitching look at the bottom look at the ruffles like oh my god i fell in love with this skirt at first sight and i was like she's coming home with me even if she fits me or not, I will literally do whatever it takes for it to fit my body. And it was a little big on me, and it still is, but it fits nicely against my like hips where it doesn't fall off my body. So this has been another one of my go-to skirts. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. I've just been seeing a lot of plaid skirts lately. So when I went to the thrift store, I was looking for a plaid pleated skirt. However, I did not find a pleated skirt, but I did find a plaid skirt and it's just so beautiful i just love the colors it screams winter and fall but you can also wear it like during the summer it really screams schoolgirl vibes which i love and i can't wait to style this when i go back to school because it's just so beautiful it's been a minute since i've worn plaid because i think i just got tired of it but i think plaid is going to be making a comeback for me moving on to jackets i was really trying to find a leather jacket that's like just well fitting but not too loose and not extremely baggy and also in well condition and i found this leather jacket it's in a chocolate brown color and i was trying to find black leather jacket however this color just absolutely drew me in and i was like this is perfect to add to my collection even though i live in florida and i don't need a leather jacket but are we gonna look stylish yes and i tried it on and everything and it just is not it's too small for my arms but i bought it anyways and i was like i'm just gonna see if it fits me later and it just doesn't it does not fit me correctly 
So then I just gave it to my aunt, which she loves leather jackets. And I was like, this is gonna go to a perfect home and it's in stunning condition. So unfortunately that did not work out. But I found this beautiful suede jacket and I just love like the fur detailing. I don't, this is not actual fur, but I just love the color. It's also like in a light chocolate color. It has honestly been my go-to winter jacket here. This is perfect for like non-extreme cold weather. And the only downside of this jacket that I don't like is that it does not have pockets at the bottom. And for me, it's a necessity to have pockets in jackets as well as in pants because it's just a necessity to have, okay? Designers who don't put pockets on jackets or pants, what are you thinking? It's just not convenient. I just couldn't pass this jacket and also I got it on a Black Friday sale at a vintage store and it cost me $15 and I was like, are you kidding me? So she came home with me and I absolutely adore this sweater. Last sweater that I got is this blue, very baggy sweater and the reason why I got it was because of the airport. I hate wearing tight clothes to the airport. My mom was like, you should wear jeans and I'm like, no. I'm going to find a nice baggy sweater and some nice baggy pants to wear to the airport and I manifested that for me so i found this i like that it's a high neck or if you want you can also tuck it in and do like an off the shoulder which is what i did i did like an off the shoulder look and while it is thin it kept me warm which is surprising because i'm always a cold gal but absolutely love the sky blue and again unfortunately it does not have pockets but the high neck and the zipper detailing makes up for it i've also purchased so many adorable bags however i do not have them with me right Right now, I have them back at home, but there will be another thrift video very soon when I go back because I've just been wanting to thrift again and since it's the new year, people are probably cleaning out their closets and giving it away to Goodwill or vintage thrift stores or just antique stores so i cannot wait to see what there is in storage for me i hope you guys enjoyed this little thrift haul i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in my next video bye